morning so far. Not. <laughs> My dad woke up again soaking wet. We know that one part of his scar, they took all the staples out, but one part where he has to sit is not closed properly. So we keep bandaging that part up and he keeps draining from that part. So we're changing bandages a couple of times a day. Well, when he went back to the emergency room to get the catheter in, I don't think they put it in properly because this morning my mother yelled for me and I went in to help and he was soaking wet and it smelled like urine. So we got him standing up out of bed and he was urinating because he could see it going into the Foley bag but he was also urinating and it was coming out on, onto the floor. So they didn't put it in right. So after physical therapy comes this morning, we have to take another trip back to the emergency room so that they can fix the, the catheter. And they better not even think about charging us again because they mess this up. And it's just a disaster. It's just... You know, my mother's so frustrated because she's in so much pain and she's trying to do this without any help because my Aunt Barbara left, I'm going to be leaving, and it's going to be up to her. And, you know, uh, it's just crazy, guys. Crazy. Tigger, say, what does Tigger say? It's up to you what you want. If you don't want it, flouch, flouch, nine, one, day. Seven, seven. Who do you have? What do you have? Rabbit. Rabbit. And here's kangaroo. Natalie, sing your ABCs. No. You don't want to sing for me again? G A J J K N O P Q R S T U B W X Y N Z. No my no my A B C. Let you say with me. Yay! Yay! Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, for I are no longer a Capulet. <laughs> Bye, Romeo. Angel, sweet angel. <laughs> you got it. You got to be careful when you talk around, around here, otherwise you might get French kissed by a dog. Yeah. Gotta go. I think, I think we might have a dead dog. Tasha. <laughs> Tasha, hi, <laughs> hi, baby girl. You tired? You tired, baby? <laughs> I think we might have a sleeping lone wolf. <laughs> Go back to sleep now. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. I was almost there too. Bye. <laughs> so everybody, it hasn't been that good of a day so far. My mom and I are on our way taking my dad back to the emergency room. Um, 
he's been sleeping a lot, which we know after a major surgery like this, you're gonna sleep, you need to sleep. But he's been excessively sleeping. His hands have been really, really cold and he's been confused a lot. And I took his blood pressure a couple times and it's been pretty low. Um, so the catheter, he says, doesn't feel right. He says he feels like he's peeing, got to pee, but it's not even coming out through the catheter. So it, 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 something's just not right. And we're not comfortable with the low blood pressure, the, the poor circulation of him being so cold all the time and as much as he's sleeping. So we're taking him back to the emergency to get oh, no, checked no, out again. And um, I don't know, guys, this is just getting a little much. And my poor mom, my poor dad, keep us all in your thoughts and prayers, guys. Hi, everybody. So we're at the emergency room with my dad. His foot is hurting. He's got phantom pains. So the doctor says to rub this foot, and he is to imagine that I'm rubbing that foot. It's not working. So we finally got into a room at the new hospital here in Rayford, North Carolina. It just opened up in March. And look at this bathroom in the room. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the size of this shower. I cannot believe it. And it's not like a shower stall. It's just like the bathroom is one big shower. <laughs> the room is not too shabby itself. Let's check out the room. There's Pa sleeping. Look at this. This is the new hospital. This is the front, the door to come into the room. This is the room. It's got the sink and the mirror, your cabinets. It's got a little station right here, TV up there. And then they have a little couch in the room with a little desk over here. This is their computer, but it slides back and you can pull a chair in there and work on the desk. And then there's Pa's bed. They have windows over here. And they even have a reclining chair over here. So if I wanted to sit there and watch TV, I could. But I'm going to sit over here and work on my computer a little bit. North Carolina, nice looking hospital. Good morning! It is a very warm morning. Uh, I do believe, let me see what we've got going. It is 100 degrees right now. Got my air on. I have to go to the store. I need to get um, some more mastic for the floor so I can finally finish that floor. Uh, I need to look for some things like um, seal. I need to uh, see if I could seal the travertine to keep it from getting stained. I know there is such a thing, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, so i got to go to Home Depot. So I'll be buying this quarter inch hardy backer for my backsplash, cover up all the holes I put in the wall. And uh, then I'm going to put some sort of travertine on the wall thinking these four by fours. Okay, this is what I need to seal the floor. Sealer finish. Seals for stain protection and matte finish is exactly what I'm looking for. I do have a sealer for the countertop stone I may look into because it's getting uh, etched already. So I wanna see what I can do about that. Today, I'm just getting some mastic adhesive. Okay, so the dishwasher's back in, it's hooked up, it's working, uh, it's level. So, the next step is now pulling 
The stove. Oh boy. Hi, Pa. Hi, Val, and everybody. How you doing? Oh, not bad. Gave us all Just a scare. A lot of back pedaling stuff. That that'll get straightened out eventually. Uh. Seemed like everything was going good, and then boom, all of a sudden you get hit with something they tell you is like a kidney infection, and so you gotta wait, get back in the groove. But you're going home tomorrow, everything's all straight now. Hopefully out. going home tomorrow, yes, they'd say yeah, but as long as everything keeps going smoothly right now, and I keep getting flushed out right, then I can definitely go home. And get back in a hot shower again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you haven't seen that bathroom yet. Yeah, I did. I had it open. I looked in there. Yeah, that, that's an awesome bathroom. I was thinking of going in there and taking one. Ah, oh, his foot, though. <laughs> Wait till you get home. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do about it. So what do you think? What do I think? Can you wait for him to come home, or were you glad to get a good night's sleep? Oh, I'm glad. I've got to get another night to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> kidding me? He could stay here. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it for today. Val's still uh, at the hospital with her father. And I didn't get a whole lot done today because it was 108 degrees. 108 outside. So I just got the dishwasher in, and that's just about all I did. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get a little bit more, or maybe I'll go uh, do something with my mom. Uh, we'll have to see. Val will tell you a little bit more about uh, what's going on in North Carolina tomorrow. And you guys all have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.